What's up everybody? Welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey and in this video we are going to look at using models. Now, in order to use models and we are going to create an application from scratch. So let's create the controller. So let us first create the controller and name the controller name it as books book controller. So let it name it as book controller which will perform the action related to book. So in order to create models we just need to hop over the model folder or the model directory and click on the add and click on the class. Now as discussed earlier model will consist of properties as well as the methods which will ultimately deal with the data. So I am going to create the model called as books or the class called as books. Now inside that model we are going to have the properties which a normal book usually have. A book can have the id not the book number i can say book number book uh, name book author as well as last but not the least book price so we are going to have these sort of four properties inside our book so i'm going to share a very simple and a very tricky way to create a property now in order to create a property using a shortcut you just need to type prop and press tab button twice and as you can see it will automatically get converted to setter getter property for us so this time we are going to use the book number so let me just copy paste since i am lazy and since book number represent an integer format so i am not going to change it like that now let us create the property in a similar manner for the book name i am going to type prop tab twice and then let us name the book name inside this property now as you can guess that book name aren't in in the integer format since it is in a string format so i'm going to replace with string and similarly i'm going to name it as for the author as well now i will just copy this paste last but not the least the price the price will be in decimal format so I am going to copy paste and this time decimal and this time price e r i c e that's it now we have successfully created our class or the model class for the books now let us use this model class inside our controller to feed some value and retrieve some value now inside our book controller we are going to use or we are going to create a fresh new method called it as get book detail now let me just remove this don't worry about the error which we are going to get some now because it it is an action result type method and it's not returning something but we will return later now since we have created a cl class called as books but as you notice that books class or the model class resides inside the model class model model class directory whereas our controllers are located inside the controller directory so in order to use this model inside this controller we just need to use this namespace of the model class so i'm going to copy this namespace of the model class called as books and i'm going to use this namespace in the line number six and I have successfully imported this namespace called as books. Now let me just create the object for the books. So to create the object, I'm going to type books object new books as simple as that. Now this object called as books will consist of various properties or a set of four properties called as book number, book name, author and price. So we are going to fill each one of them one by one object dot book number this will be book number one object dot book name will be hello mvc object dot author will be aditya dubey and last but not the least object dot price will be 220 rupees and 20 pesos so 
that's a random price as you can see we get an error we get an prompt of an error that represents a double precision or a floating point number so let me just convert this into a decimal format so how do we convert this number into decimal format let me just show you we are going to use the convert class and we are going to use two decimal and uh, inside that we are going to pass the number which is 220.220 .220, and eventually it will convert our number into a decimal format which suits the object price that's it since our object got filled successfully now we are going to return this object to our view so in order to return object to a view so we are going to write return view and inside our view we are going to copy the object name that's it as simple as that so let us revise what we have done till now we have created a model class called as books inside the book class books class we have defined set of properties called as book number name blah 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 and inside the controller class we had imported the namespace for the models since the model is in different directory so in order to use the components inside the directory we need to import this namespace to import the namespace in c# we use using keyword now inside the controller class we had created our action method called as get books detail now this inside this method we had created an object for the books and initialized the object attributes or the object components to the value specified in the controller itself now we want to parse this value of uh, the 220.220 to decimal so we had used the convert class and uh, inside that convert class we had used the two decimal function and this function will convert the any value that is applied inside this uh, parameter to a desired decimal value and last but not the least we had returned the view followed by the object of the box now let us create the ob uh, let us create the view for the action method so to create a view let us right click on the get book details click on add view and inside the template section we are going to change something what we are going to change we are going to select the empty and this time inside the model class we had to select some class that we have created and you can see we have created called a class called as books i just need to click on it i am not going to use the layout page i am not uh, going to reference the script library let me just click on add button so we had created or generated our view for our uh, get book details now inside this div class i am going uh, sorry inside this div uh, element i am going to create an h1 tag so let us name it as book details and after that let us display each one of the value one by one so i am going to use the s2 tag s3 tag for it uh in order to get the book number so i am going to type book number so how do i fetch the value from the controller that is passed in an object for the book number which is specified as 1 so it's very easy so all you need to do is just use the add the red symbol type model and press dot and see the magic you will get to see all the list of parameter that you have supplied inside the model class and initialized in your controller class so i am going to use the book number that's it now similarly let me just fill or type each one of these parameter one by one i will write it as the book name and i would use it as book name similarly sorry similarly use it for the author as well so i'm going to type author and uh, author name is uh, this and last but not the least 
let's put on the price first so i'm going to type price for that as simple as that now let us run our application and see what we get as an output okay as you can see we have an output uh, which is loading first of all let us see the url pattern the local host colon 22269 which is a port number as i discussed earlier book is the controller which we have created get book detail is the action method now as you can see we are going to see the value of the book details book number is 1 as specified in the controller as you can see in the controller we had specified the book number uh let me just open the browser book number is 1 as specified here book name is this book author is aditya dubey book oh oh this is just a mistake so let me just change the mistake and name it rename it is author to price so i am going to change it as price now the one thing that you notice i am going to just change the price and going to hit on the reload button and i don't need to restart the application since i'm i'd need changes only in the html segment so remember if you make changes in the c sharp file or some sort of file that you are working in apart from the html js and css file you need to restart your application one more time in order to see the reflected changes so i hope you understand now and uh, in our next video we are going to dive further in mvc i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions please do let me ask in the youtube comment section and your suggestions are always welcome until then enjoy life bye bye